Hey everyone, welcome back to the His and Hers, the Truth Podcast. My name is Tuan. This is my beautiful wife. Hi, Sim. Welcome back to our channel. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining us once again. Guys, when you're here, please subscribe to the channel, right? Yes. I'm going to keep pushing this because there's so many <laughs> shadow watchers out there, right? Our viewership, definitely our view count has gone up. So I really appreciate it, guys. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of us Asians, uh, as you know, brothers right there are appreciating the content. Yes. And I noticed that I think we're starting to build kind of, like I said, this Asian community, right? This kind of this mm -hmm. Asian manosphere, it's coming together. you know, and it's, I'm sure there's a few sisters, Asian sisters watching out there as well. Yeah. Hopefully that you guys are, you know, learning what our Asian brothers are struggling about. Mm -hmm. And then also just in general, what men want right in the yeah. dating market. And of course, what, you know, well, values uh, mm -hmm. that you guys can work on to help your, uh, your, you know, your results yourself. as well too. Mm -hmm. But for my Asian brothers specifically, right. It's about waking up, knowing the truth, mm -hmm. knowing the values that you need to get to obviously get the results that you want. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we can turn around these negative stats, right? The yeah. self deletion rate, right? The least mm -hmm. attracted on dating apps, right? Mm -hmm. All those things, depression, mental health that we talk about, you know, that, that, that hurts our mm -hmm. Asian community, but specifically the Asian men, right? You guys seen your fathers dealt with it. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of guys out there. I know that they can talk about this, right? Uh, there's, they've seen their fathers, their uncles struggle with mm -hmm. it. Right. And now it's kind of passed on to you guys. Okay. If we so, can yeah. change one life at a time, one life at a time. That's what we're doing. And that would make a difference. So, yeah. And so guys, today's video, Oh, and before, of course, before I get into this video, sorry, you know, turn on your notification bell, right? Ding. Smash that like button. Yeah. And of course, share. watch the whole video guys, and then share and comment at the end, right? Mm -hmm. We love all the comments. There's a few comments that we've received recently. We'll definitely answer them in another yeah. video. And of course, when we do have our live again, guys, we are planning another live in the next couple of weeks or so. Yeah. Please be ready for it. And of course, have questions ready or comments ready as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, today's video, it popped up on my stream and I thought it was a very good video uh, to talk about kind of what we, you know, we kind of harper on this channel all the time, right, honey? Mm -hmm. And the title of the video is, Do White Women Think Asian Men Are Sexy? Mm -hmm. And then the finalize of it, it says, Nerd with Abs Opens His Jacket in Europe. <laughs> okay. Yes. okay so obviously you can kind of see a context already so this guy is in europe he's not uh -huh. in america but guys honestly any obviously well-to-do western european country is going to be very similar to the same ideology as the u.s mm -hmm. okay so let's go here we go all right hey guys this is captain daniel kim and we are in eastern europe so we're going to find out if eastern european women think asian men are sexy oh shit because I know in the U.S. we kind of get a prejudice that Asian men are just nerdy and we read books. Rebelling. I started doing math homework. So let's go find out. And by the way, I have a little surprise for them. Where are you from? Okay, real quick, before he starts interviewing these women, honey, what do you think about those two things that he kind of, or just the, all those things that you mentioned in the beginning, right, where, you know, he was talking about how do European white women find Asian men sexy? Mm -hmm. And then he showed all these images of these really in shape, okay, yep. masculine Asian dudes. Mm -hmm. And then of course he said, hey, then everyone thinks of us as this stereotype, nerdy. this nerdy guy. What, what do you think about that whole thing real quick? It's true. I mean, because we get that stereotype and stereotype does happen for a reason. And why is that reason, honey? Huh? Because it's, that's because we're doing it. We're showing those traits. 100 percent. hey my wife is being nice but it's because the majority of us are that way guys yep. right let's not sugarcoat it right mm -hmm. the reason why we have those stereotypes with women mm -hmm. is because the majority of us are that way mm -hmm. and we're not doing anything about, about it mm -hmm. we're not doing anything to change that image of the asian man in our culture in our freaking society in our freaking media yeah. Okay. Guys, I don't know how many times, and this guy is like, he's obviously the abnormal, right? Yeah. He dressed himself up to look nerdy, yeah. but you can see that he's obviously masculine. He talks with a deeper voice, right? He, he doesn't talk taller. like, right? He's obviously taller. Mm -hmm. You can see him standing next to the girl here, guys. Yeah. So guys, if we want to change this image, that's already, that's the key, guys. This is what Asian men always bitch about. Oh, well, you know, they hate Asian guys, right? Like, why are they always thinking? Well, it's because we're doing that. Mm -hmm. 
quit talking about other people saying that this is they're racist or they're against Asian men. It's because no, no it's because we created this image for ourselves. You made it look awkward. You barely yeah. go talk to other people. You dress sort of, I don't know, nerdy-ish. You know, yeah. there's so many things that you can change yourself to be better. Be more outgoing. Yeah. You know, know who you are. If you earned it and you made the money, go fix yourself up like yeah. shoot get better but, clothes or, but, or hygiene or whatever yeah, but, else. but all those things like all the above all, all those things are only going to be part of the equation work out if if you don't have this right so let's mm -hmm. let's get into the rest of the video okay Mitch, UK. where are you from i'm from ukraine ukraine me too so where are you from i'm from warsaw poland warsaw poland oh, where are you from portugal brazil brazil okay. from belarus Belarus. Belarus. Do you think Asian men are sexy? Do you think Asian men are sexy? Do you think Asian guys are sexy? In my opinion, yeah. not so much. Sexiness doesn't depend on the race. Um, I think it depends uh, on the person. I think um, all nationalities can be beautiful and... Um... Do you think Asian men are sexy? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I do. Oh, you do? Okay. Kaja. Ta, Timmy Kapsha, hi, Timmy! Hi, Timmy! Ha! Yes. And yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. I do. I think quite enough. Okay. Sure. All right. What about now? <laughs> okay, hey, real quick before he obviously exposes himself yeah. here. Did you notice a common thing with all the women, honey? Did you notice that, that I noticed? What did, what did you notice there, that a common thing sort happened? Pause, in a way, or trying to be nice. Yes, sort of, yes, yeah. What, what, elaborate yeah. on that. What do, you, what do you think about that? Well, they had to think about it. Their answer weren't straightforward, like, yes, you are sexy. You know, like, like if you say Italian, they'll be like, whoa, yes, he is sexy. But for the Asian guy, it's like they had to pause or try to be nice, but sort of look awkwardish. Yep. They weren't really like straightforward smiling. You, you notice the way they're answering sort of, you know. Yeah. This, this is why I love my wife on the show. I get it, guys. Sometimes, you know, she's not the RP uh, uh, expert content person, but she is a female and she gives very she can pick up on key notices mm -hmm. those that i didn't notice at all as a man mm -hmm. i'll be honest with you i now that she pointed it out i noticed well, I'm a woman. but yes so. see that's what i'm trying to say i love that insight because it shows that they did not want to say no. yes mm -hmm. right they didn't want to say yes because they knew they were getting interviewed by an asian dude and they, and they, wanted they didn't to want to hurt his feelings mm -hmm. And then the second thing I was going to add, because mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you pointed it out first, that key thing, is that you notice that the women, only other women, only said yes mm -hmm. after the first woman kind of paused for a second, yeah. said, uh, I don't want to really insult this yeah. guy, so I'm going to say yes. And then you notice how other women said yes as well, too. Yeah. Guys, this is a huge part that you guys have to learn about mm -hmm. you know, women's nature. They are followers, right? They are freaking conformists, right? They're they're a hive mind mentality. When one person says this, they're typically gonna say it because they don't want to hurt someone else's feelings. They don't want to look bad. And so my point, my point is they kind of mace the another point was they kind of messed up the the kind of this data or this kind of like this mm -hmm. this uh, test already, right? Because they had an Asian dude ask them. I would I wouldn't be surprised. I told you because uh, we've we actually reacted to another video where we had they had a white guy. Remember that yeah. white guy was going around asking, mm -hmm. and you noticed that less of the women, white, white. women specifically, yeah. said yes, mm -hmm. right? Because they said, "Oh, Asians are typically you know smaller. Yeah. They're not as freaking you know obviously outgoing." Mm -hmm. And then, oh, you know, and then they, they tend to be like more money oriented yeah. or, you know, they tend to be more family. <laughs> like they use all these words to try to make it sound nice. But in essence, guys, they just, they're saying that you're a beta yeah. pretty much. Okay. And it's like, oh, well, we don't want the family oriented right? nice guy. So this goes <laughs> back. Like yeah. That. So this goes back, guys. People, I hate to say it, but people are stereotypical, mm -hmm. right? Meaning that people stereotype. Right. And so when you say an ethnicity, white, black, Hispanic, Asian, mm -hmm. what's the first thing that comes into people's mind? Yeah. It's the images yeah. that not only, of course, the media has created for these ethnicities, yes, but think about it, guys. It's the if if all Asian dudes were tall, big and muscular, you think the media could portray us as small, nerdy, little geeky no. dudes? But right. Media is 
do you, do you job think doing do you think all black men are these big tall nba six foot eight players no. you know with big johnsons no. no honestly white men are still on average the tallest ethnicity yeah. and white men and other ethnicities still have the biggest penises mm -hmm. but why do black men have this stereotype because it's because they created that this image, image for themselves <laughs> right yeah. the, the top tier black dudes obviously created this image for themselves and then by doing so yeah. they got others helped follow. by the media they got yeah. helped by other things so guys we can do it too we got to change that image okay oh. <laughs> yes <laughs> yes <laughs> definitely <laughs> what about now though i might consider <laughs> <laughs> what about now though <laughs> Better. Better? <laughs> what about now? I have a boyfriend. I can't look at you. Emotional damage! What about now, though? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Asian men are sexy? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? I say the same thing. Same thing? Okay. <laughs> you think they're sexy? <laughs> Oh, you know, that's, that's, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's tricky. <laughs> okay, yes or no? That's the body, so sexy body <laughs> can have uh, any nation. Okay, <laughs> you guys see something mm -hmm. there. Like, what did my, what did you pick up, honey? Because obviously you're great at, you know, talking about this physical, you know, I'm, so, I'm sorry, uh, just reading body language, right? You're great at that, picking up cues. Mm -hmm. So what did you immediately see there? Yeah, they're they're not really, um, you know, the, the ladies are sort of like, how would you want to say it? They're not as flattered. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're sort of like, they're like, ooh, sort of, oh, yeah, sort of out of the ordinary. But at the same time, oh, maybe just one Asian, not the rest. No, no, I, I didn't so, see that at all. You know, because uh, so? the way they're laughing and... No, because they were obviously, you know, Not put on unexpected. the spot. They, well, it was unexpected. unexpected. It was unexpected. But one thing you notice, right, and, and is is that there was no hesitation of attraction anymore. Mm -hmm. You notice that these women were immediately aroused now, mm -hmm. right? That's this is why know. we can watch it again, mm -hmm. guys, right? But you can automatically see there was no hesitation now. You can you can read the body language. Yeah. It's like, oh man, this guy is attractive now. Mm -hmm. Right. Whereas before, when he had asked, even though he was tall, mm -hmm. even though they could tell that he wasn't like geeky or nerdy, yeah. but because of the stereotype mm -hmm. in their mind, right, because of yeah. this, the stereotypical Asian image, they're like they had to think about it to answer yes. But you notice when he took his shirt off well, and they showed were surprised on that. They were surprised, but not but but nerdy. correct. There's not the stereotypical Asian guy, but you yeah. notice that right away. It's like, okay, this is what I'm attracted to. Mm -hmm. You guys can see that, right? It's kind of like if you roll up in a freaking Lambo or a Ferrari, or you you roll up in all that money. It. Yeah, you automatically say, oh, the woman knows. Okay, check. You have that check mark marked off. But this one, it was unexpected. It was unexpected, but the point is the body language is still a tail, mm -hmm. a telltale sign, right? Yeah. It, it showed their true arousal instinct which is like, oh okay cool he has a body now now you can automatically see that that's that uh switch flipped mm -hmm. and then what did that last girl said that was obviously a telltale and this is a lesson oh. now that last girl as 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 kind of like, like oh. nonchalant okay. as she said it was the whole lesson of this video yeah. what did she say you remember like oh okay well now she could be interested because now it just tells you traits it's not because of your asian but she said something traits. very specific i know uh i just forgot okay yeah that's what i'm trying to tell you got to pick up you got to really pay attention to women sometimes and as guys I, you know obviously i'm watching the video guys i'm trying to pay attention right but you guys got to learn how to pay attention to these cues. And what did she, what she said was, oh, well, you have the body. That's going to get any woman. Mm -hmm. Boom, guys. That's the mind-blowing inference. You can get any woman. You work it has yourself. nothing to do with ethnicity. You have the traits that they want. Women understand, oh, you got that freaking trait that I want? You can get any woman. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you're black, it doesn't matter you're white, it doesn't Asian. matter you Asian, it doesn't matter the woman's white, the woman's Asian, the woman's black. Yep. This is what women want, and this is what they want in all their men. So that's the reason yeah. why, guys, humans in general 
as you know, as much as we want to date our own ethnicity, right, and marry our own ethnicity, mm -hmm. right? Because by default, humans in general though don't really care about the ethnicity mm -hmm. if they know that you have those traits strong. Yeah. Yes. Are there some obviously social construct biases mm -hmm. yeah. that can do it? Culture, media, and that mm -hmm. type of stuff. But at the end of the day, you put two people together, mm -hmm. a man and a woman, yeah. and if they have those traits that each one of them wants, there's going to be a track. There it's just go. biology, guys. Mm -hmm. You can't fight it, okay? Yep. What does that say? <laughs> um, yes, <laughs> you guys are. No she didn't hesitate. No All right, thank you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, they're selling a program too. Hey guys, that's not a Thanks thing. Thanks for watching our video. Okay. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this. Okay, guys, that was the end of the video, guys. And you know, obviously they were trying to sell a program, but guys, mm -hmm. Asian men, quit being damn cheap. <laughs> okay? If if you guys are great in something, this is something, another thing, that's, that was a great thing at the end there that says, you know, hey, join our academy if you need help. To, yeah. Guys, you're not going to be, unfortunately, the know-it-alls for everything. No. You know, Asian people, we have this tendency to be obviously, and it's true, very Penny. cheap, mm -hmm. right? Penny pictures. Right? We, we brag about how we save money, not, yeah. well, not on how we made money, right? Yeah. A common thing was like, oh, man, look at this nice thing I got and how much money I saved on it, mm -hmm. right? You don't be going around like, oh, man, I got this really nice thing and it cost me this much, no. right? That's, that's not how Asians roll. Nope. But they guys, like save money. if you mm -hmm. want to be the best man, and you're great at finance, you're great at freaking, you know, being intelligent, but you don't know how to get in shape. You don't know how to like hygiene, like my wife was saying earlier, right? You don't know how to dress. obviously dress up, mm -hmm. comb your hair, you work know, out, work out, you know, muscles. use the products mm -hmm. to freaking get rid of your acne or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Go find an expert, Yep. right? Pay for it. Hang out with men. Don't be shy. Don't be ashamed of it. No. Go hang out with other Asian brothers or your friends that know how to do it yep. and take their advice, right? One of the biggest things we can do as men, not just Asian men, is mm -hmm. surround ourselves with a group of men who are obviously higher value men. So Better that way, together. yeah, that way you mm -hmm. can obviously, obviously uh, uh, get those traits by mm -hmm. association, right? I did that, you know, obviously back in the day when I had to start my other job and I had to wear more suits, dress up, right? Hold myself a certain way, speak a certain way, right? I hung out with one of my best friends that kind of pushed me towards that. Mm -hmm. And then by doing that, obviously I started learning on my own and yeah. trying to push for that. But the point is, guys, you guys need to use your resources, whatever mm -hmm. you can do. And guys, go check out our last brother that was on the live, right? Yeah. Ty, yeah. he was running something like that. So go check out his channel and, and go check out it. Yeah, and he can help you guys get in shape and do all those things, right? So give him a shout out. Yeah. Well, honey, final thoughts. What do you think about that video? It's a good video that shows that, you know, as long as you up your game, remember, don't break, break that stigma that, that Asian brothers are less desirable. You are desirable, but you got to up your traits. That's the thing. It's not break that stigma. We aren't nerdy. We aren't just, you know, have brains. We do have looks. We do have other, we are sporty. We are good looking. We, we are athletic. We are a lot of things, you know, you're in so many different fields, medical, you know, whatever well, else. So, so just take care of yourself, up your traits and don't be cheap. Let's well, not be cheap. Well, to, to really make, a point of what my wife was saying. Mm -hmm. The point is you can achieve all those things, mm -hmm. right? We're not those things now, right? Yeah. One of the first things, ways to get That's better is, is uh, uh, recognizing your fault. Mm -hmm. Asian men as a whole, we're not those things that my wife said that we, that we can be. be. Yeah. But the point is we can be those things, guys, yeah. if you put your mind to it and you put your effort to it. And the last point I wanna say, it was that the whole reason why I wanted to react to this video, right? Yeah. Is because, it's not our ethnicity that's no. holding us back. Mm -hmm. I need all my Asian brothers, 2023 and moving forward, yeah. quit using our Asian ethnicity as your crutch.
right? As the thing that is holding you back to As being ball successful, and chain. right? Sort of to ball be and chain. successful in this dating market, sexual marketplace, mm -hmm. getting the results that you want. Because guys, chasing the money, chasing the finance is never going to make you happy. Mm -hmm. Going back to this channel's content, it's chasing the truth is what's mm -hmm. going to make you happy, okay? And to have the best outcome for the truth, you need all those values. Yes. So guys, that's the value of this lesson, right? Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Check you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Join us as we give you guys a glimpse into our lives, give you guys advice, mm -hmm. hopefully give you guys entertainment value as well too, and provide you guys better outcomes. Yes.